Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. I am Starco Gaming and we are back with another Dragon Champion video. Guys, today we're continuing uh, our series about the Goblin characters to get ready for the Talon event. And although we already covered the five main Goblin characters you should have for uh, your team to actually participate in the Talon event, that does not mean you do have those five characters. So we still have three other characters to cover uh, in the Goblin uh, race to actually make sure that everybody is ready for the talent event. Well, as many people as possible is ready for the talent event. And today we're going to be taking a look at Major Shot. And yes, it is Major Shot and not Major Scott like I used to say all the time. So we're going to be taking a look at this character's uh, his skills. Um, which skills to get to level 6, which skills to ignore, uh, which skills to actually use in which priority in game mode. Also, we're going to be using, a, a, we are going to be looking at what stats we shall be using on runes, artifact, what runes we shall be using. And then uh, we're going to be showing some uh, arena in tier 8 rate gameplay at the end when we are done with all the talking but before we get into all of that guys if you are level 15 or below make sure to use the promo code just start go to get ten dollars worth of free stuff to do so it is very very simple you go in the settings you go in use promo code and you enter the word starko s-t-a-r-k-o you press ok and you will receive ten dollars worth of free stuff which include uh 500 track wins and 250 thousand gold which is gonna give you a huge boost uh to help you progressing as fast as possible as early as possible so promo code is starko guess for awesomeness now let's jump into this roster and let's start taking a look at my boy major shot we are on the test server guys so the power uh that's that's something we cannot really discuss i think uh but the, yeah the power is changing with the next build that's gonna come with the new battleground rework uh, at the end of september or it's just to troll us making us believe it's gonna change we actually have no information about it so we cannot really discuss that just want to address it so you guys are not like what the hell is going on you get the point so uh we're gonna take a look at the skills here first skills we have the leadership ability this leadership ability is in theory pretty decent but uh if you have general mordak that pretty much make this ability trash now if you do not have general mordak this is going to be an ability very important because all like goblins still 25 more uh more damage if they are any uh member of the order in the enemy party up and landing a critical hit goblin has a 50 percent chance to increase the cooldown of a random enemy ability by one so obviously um you can see here uh plus five damage here and plus 15 percent chance to increase the cooldown random ability so if you do not have general murdoch this is definitely uh, the leadership to go for so this ability depends if you have general murdoch this ability stay at level one if you do not have general murdoch this ability get uh to level six that's pretty much the basic of that ability and uh, next we look at the uh Passive ability, recharge, restore one turn to a random ability at the start of a turn. If you drop that, it has a 70% chance to restore one turn to a random, random ability at the start of a turn. And uh, since it only applies to him, uh, I don't think this ability is that important to be honest. I think other abilities are going to be way more important. So this ability at level 5 is totally fine for me. Next we have the third skill, flashbang. Uh, inflict blindness for one turn and a healing block for two turns. Uh, on all enemies which is pretty awesome and if you see if you get that to level five the cooldown start with six turn cooldown instead of four turn cooldown and uh the uh, the global cooldown is eight turns so yes this is a huge advantage to have this skills at level six now if you don't care about the cooldown you keep this skills at level four if you don't think you're really gonna use that skill but uh, level six in my opinion is very good for this skill next we have the second skills the little goblin that cooled um 
pretty much this skill start on um, three three turn cooldown uh, deal 230 percent of physical damage to all enemies major shot switches to battle mode this effect cannot be prevented or removed using this ability again will cancel the battle mode using this ability while in battle mode have a 70 percent chance to stun uh, so pretty much you just want to switch to battle mode here. So um, While you're in battle mode and going to use the ability again uh, You're gonna have a chance to stun and do some more damage, but this ability in my opinion is not that important See we he lose only 20% chance to stun so uh, This ability at level 5 for me is good enough and next we have the machine gun ability the basic ability deal 220 percent physical damage to the target and 60 percent of physical damage to all other enemies and if you get that um, to level five you only lose uh 10 percent on aoe and 40 percent of the main damage which is literally not game changer again uh so pretty much from what we can see here there is no ability that are important to get to level six except the leadership if you do not have general murdoch now if you have general murdoch you keep that leadership to level one you get all the other ability to level five and you are in business personally i don't think i can recommend any ability to be ranked to a level six personally so we're not going to be talking about level six ability here because i just don't think that's something you should be doing so we're gonna keep it like that um like i said only ability that could be worth getting to level six is the leadership if you don't have general murder now how are you going to use those ability uh it's pretty simple um you're gonna use this skill on cooldown once it's available unless they have a debuff uh, buff uh, yeah debuff immunity on the other team um then you're gonna use this skill uh on cooldown so you can do aoe damage and uh, have a chance to stun everybody pretty much and then you're gonna fill with the basic ability pretty much that is the pattern you're gonna be using with those skills very basic very simple now if we talk about runes uh, what runes to go for and what stats uh, so first of all the stats that are very important for him is number one speed number two potency number three critical chance those are three most important uh, stats for this fella in that order so uh, obviously first priority we're going to be going at uh, speed we got speed here we got critical chance here so uh two of the most important stats are on this gear so that is definitely solid a uh, second one we have critical chance with potency again two of the three always solid and last we have potency with speed two of the three that's what you want you want at least the primary with one secondary stat that is important that is in the top three secondary stats that he needs that's how you want to build uh, those two primaries so primary number one which is northeast speed primary number two which is south critical chance and primary number three which is northwest uh, potency that is the primaries you want to go for uh, secondary stats you can see here uh, we have some potency we have critical chance here we have critical chance speed we have potency we have potency and critical chance and we have speed here so uh, speed is number one potency is number two and critical chance is number three in the priority for the secondary stats now if we talk oh also you want to go with two potency and four speed with this fella unless you're running without general murdoch then you want to go six potency runes that will be optimal to get that potency as close as 100 percent as possible now if we talk about artifact why well, it's very important with artifact is not the ability it's not the artifact that's designed for the specific characters what's really important for the artifact is the stats what stats is the most important for this character on an artifact since speed is not possible on artifact well potency is going to be the most important stats on this artifact and so palance and lamp is going to be one of the most important artifact here there's another one that i don't remember the name that's only available from uh, battleground rewards which is not available right now so palance and lamp is pretty much the only potency artifact you can have well you can find at the moment so 
this is the artifact to go with major shot and you can see here's the stats we have uh, you can see his hp is very freaking low yes survival ability is going to be an issue um you can see his speed is 226 a very very solid potency 66 percent a little bit low i wish i had more secondary stats potency but 66 percent it's above 60 percent so it is still pretty decent you can see critical chance is 45 percent not that bad uh, honestly and again uh, we could run with more uh, secondary stats critical chance to get that a little bit closer to 50 percent but globally uh, the setup on this characters is a pretty great next we're going to see him in action in both arena and tier 8 rate and you're going to see yeah his damage is actually not that bad obviously in the arena we're going to get wrecked a uh, goblin team is not the goblin uh, a team that is very good in arena but uh kind of want to showcase uh what he can do uh you know how his survivability is trash and how he gonna be not gonna be able to use its third skill in arena that's kind of what i'm focusing on showcasing here in this video so that's the team we're gonna remove this guy because he is very very squishy uh let's give us a chance to actually survive a little bit longer here so that's the team uh we're gonna go obviously so let's jump in there and let's showcase that uh, pretty much all we're gonna be able to do with major shot is basic ability which make him trash for arena you need an arena fight that's gonna be lasting longer and you need them to actually survive that fight to actually be usable which is not going to be part of this fight so let's just attack we're not going to be able to do anything crazy here uh we're gonna get wrecked and that's pretty much gonna be hit most likely see a he got massacre his survivability is trash and sadly that is a fact that is what we got to deal with and you can see this team is not really good here uh, on this guy Garrett start going we are going to get destroyed just gonna showcase it a little bit so you guys see uh, why this is not a thing we see in arena anymore he used to be good before buff was released and before Garrett was part of the mix but now that they are both released uh, buff and garlic are at Garrett are there it's just this team is just terrible uh, to actually be used here sadly I miss when this team was good though that was pretty great when this team was good you can see now we are pretty much screwed well we might actually be able to kill one target was actually not that bad so we're able to kill one target but that's not what we're trying to focus here obviously what we're trying to focus here was a major shot how uh, squishy he is and how it's pretty much useless in uh in the arena and i think we actually prove our points here pretty easy man i thought i was gonna get the kill here okay we got the kill so not so bad now we have miss on everybody we are so dead oops forgot we got blind <laughs> oh this is definitely not the best team here uh to get that but can actually you know last quite long in um in the arena so it's actually uh well against this team against the garrett team so it's actually pretty solid but this is not a team that's going to be beating a, a garrett team without a single doubt that's just not going to happen but there's still uh if if we had a goblin you know to take the place of uh, major shot that could actually survive great that will be totally different to be honest we'll be able to do a lot more but sadly all the other goblin at this point uh until we get uh, tenessa are pretty much gonna be just like major shot pig walled. uh they just get killed so easily that uh it makes it pretty much impossible to achieve anything badly I mean, achieve anything in arena now this fight is, is definitely lasting a lot longer than i expected to be honest i did not expect this to to last that long but uh we're still gonna get our ass kick actually let's just finish that on the duplay here so we can finish that faster here 
this this is taking forever this is ridiculous that'll be funny if we actually win this though that'll be hilarious now they have buff immunity the stun is not working so uh probably not gonna work pretty good here Still, we got the speed and uh, the slow on the other guy. We might actually win this. Wow, that's yeah, we might actually get this one. We got the stun, we're smashing it. Wow, that's gonna be funny. That is definitely pretty funny. That was definitely not expected. Uh, <laughs> General Morduck and the pig actually did the job, so definitely uh, we can actually make that goblin team work against a full human gear team. Which is actually going to be a strong counter against the buff team. Uh, so that was just pretty funny to me. Uh, <laughs> that was really, really funny to me this fight. So I guess a goblin team with good RNG could actually work against this team down there. But uh, globally, as soon as you have a Mordum or a buff uh, or a slinger, it's pretty much game over for your goblin team. But uh, that was fun to play. It was very fun. Okay, next we're gonna jump in not tower. I don't know what I'm doing right now. Uh, kills raid. Uh, we're gonna restart this raid here, and uh, we're gonna jump uh, on Solius, and we're gonna showcase uh, what kind of damage uh, Major Shot can actually do in tier eight raid against Solius, pretty much because. That's the place is going to be the most useful uh, in the first three phase. It's going to be against Solius, and after that, it's only against Phase Four. With Phase Four, he can actually do quite some decent job, decent work too. So here, uh, we are going to replace this guy with my my. My, my, my uh, major shot. I'm not replacing Big Wall because Big Wall is just so strong. We all know that. We we saw that video yesterday. So uh, it's really about showcasing this little fella uh, major shot here in tier eight raid. So here comes the gameplay of this awesome guy. So obviously uh, the first mini turns we will not going to be able to do anything with him because only his basic ability is going to be available so it's once his other skills becomes available uh, that is definitely going to get better. Now we go to town so we got to deal with that obviously uh, apparently his ability became uh, really pretty fast here so um, honestly uh, Solis is immune to blind less so uh, that is definitely not going to work pretty good here but we're still going to push this one here uh, we're going to go with the blind less and um, after that we're going to use this one I guess so here we go, we still apply a uh, heal block and see because of eye potency, uh, the blameless actually work here, which was uh, not bad at all, if I can say. But that is pretty much how you're going to play this guy. Now we're going to use the AoE, try to do as much damage as we can, but that AoE damage was pretty shitty to be honest. Was really not good. I don't know why I used this ability, that's kind of obvious. That was not going to work. So now we're just going to deal with this guy again. So we tried to do the stun this time around, but that did not work that good. So back to try to get that talent out of the way so we can actually go back to Solius. And finally, we can go back to Solius. So now we are attacking Solius. And uh, you can see my pig wall is done, so this is going to be a terrible fight. Um, but the focus is on Major Shot. We want to see what kind of damage is going to be able to do in this fight. So we're going to be able to see it, and it's not going to be that great in this fight. We had terrible RNG, to be honest. But still, we can compare what it, what we do as damage compared to uh, other characters in this team. So that's going to be pretty nice. So here we got uh, pretty much got resisted, so that was terrible. And the blind is coming again, so we get a lot of that blind, which is totally uh, annoying, obviously. So here we're gonna go with that. Obviously, we cannot stand that bastard. Not much we could have done anyway with our pig wall. That 
dead, but still we're trying to do some damage, but his damage is not that great in tier 8 rate, to be honest. And I think the uh, place that he really shined the most, well, it's in uh, blinding those bastards, uh, obviously, <laughs> and in the in uh, the talent event. I think that's the only place he's really going to be shining, to be honest. So that shall be the end here. Yeah. So we're going to take a look at the damage we actually achieve here. Uh, with him and you can see uh, he had a great run so it was the second best in damage usually pig wall is the best but today was a terrible run so 148,000 so it was still close to uh, General Mordok so that was actually not that bad but you can see he is definitely not the best damage tier for for that, uh, Inspector Goram will actually have a lot more usability because not only is Inspector Goram uh, is longer to get killed, but also his little piggy, his little minions actually bring some targets to actually kill, so big walls stay alive longer, which is kind of the objective in tier 8 raid with that goblin team is big wall staying alive and doing as much damage as possible. So, uh, sadly, Major Shot is going to be awesome for. Uh, the talent event, but he is still not the top five goblin characters. He is a good alternative if you do not have um, if you do not have General Marduk as a leadership, and that is pretty much it. So uh, hopefully this video uh, answer all your question about major shot guys and how to play him and how to build him and if he's actually useful in the game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to drop a like on this video if you enjoy it. Uh, so uh, YouTube knows that they should be sharing this video to more people. So guys, thank you for watching. You all have a great day and I will see you again in the next video. Thank you.